Hello Audacious Church and welcome to our devotions today. Hope you are well. It's nearly Christmas. Can you believe it? And we've been on an incredible journey over the last few weeks, journeying through the nativity story, seeing Mary and Joseph leave the village of Nazareth, walk through the paths in the desert to the town of Bethlehem, arriving at the stable where the surprise, the hope of glory, where Jesus Christ would be born in a manger. And it says in Luke 2, the time came for her baby to be born she gave birth to her first born son she wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them the stable might not have seemed the right time or the right place the right environment to be born but that's how hope arrived to the earth might not feel the right time or the right place that will look for hope but this is where our hope was born for the whole of mankind when i was a little girl uh, about four or five years old one christmas morning i came downstairs and there was this um, box this big box waiting for me I excitedly pulled back the wrapping paper and there was a cage and I opened the door and this this uh, seemingly mechanical little cuddly toy dog came out and went woof and I was so excited I thought oh I've got a toy dog it's so cute I picked up this dog and with a complete and utter surprise I went wow it's real and I realized that this toy dog was not a, do a toy whatsoever but it was a real puppy well she was actually a girl she was a real puppy a, a toy poodle and she was mine and i had a complete surprise that she was real and my hope and prayer for us today that we would have a revelation and moment of understanding that this nativity isn't just a story in a book but this is a message of hope and truth that is as real to us today to you and to me as it was 2000 years ago this sheer unexpected undeserved surprise that Jesus did didn't just come to restore uh, Israel, God's chosen people, but he came to save all of mankind for all whosoever would believe in him, in his life, his birth, his life and uh, death and resurrection. In the birth in the stable, hope was birth, that we could receive this gift this unexpected, undeserved surprise that when we put our faith and hope in Jesus Christ that we can have the promise of forgiveness, of healing, of restoration and reconciliation and a real relationship with God the Father for both now and for eternity. What a promise God has made to us. It says this in Ephesians 1 verse 5, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Christ Jesus. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. The gift that he has for you and for me this Christmas is of hope, or is, is for us to remember the life that he has given us both now and for, for forever. That where there was no room for Jesus, he has made room for us to have a real lasting relationship with God the Father. To not just be outsiders, to, but to be sons and daughters adopted into his family and co-heirs with Christ Jesus. That now is the time to receive this gift of hope of healing of restoration and this christmas let's receive that truth in the realness that it was given thank you jesus for each and every one of the 
people listening today and we just pray a blessing over this day over this christmas over our families that we would have peace knowing the hope that we have in you in jesus name merry christmas everyone